what's happening guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another day halfway through the week I gotta real quick run through my pre-trip didn't get out of bed like we should this morning we run a little behind but it's I've got a 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. window so I've not been this week and the past couple weeks I've not been eating the same way and not been getting to not been working out neither for various reasons and I can always tell because my body wants to slow down a lot more I was editing that video last night and then got to talking to the family and time got away so but that happens sometimes in this job so I'm going to run through this pre-trip slide on down to South Haven and like I said by the time we get down there more than likely I'll have a reload I'll know where we're going from there I'll catch back up with you in a little bit if not it's because you're not subscribed to the channel so subscribe to the channel comment down below how we're doing looking forward to the next one and made it down to South Haven here um, they've changed it up that's the one thing about this business is change is constant I'm going to Memphis to load I've got to look see pre which one we're loading at today uh, but it's going I'm taking it to Danville Illinois instead of Morristown so I got here and I had to hit the ground running because they were ready to unload it so I like it when that happens uh, you don't have to do a lot of sitting and waiting so I'll check back up with you once I can figure out what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to be going over where I've got tarp it or if it's no tarp. So we'll see what kind of footage we can get. Hang tight. Okay, so I made it up here to Memphis to where I'm loading at. Pull in here to check in, call the number, give them my pickup number and was told that I need to get my appointment made, have, a, have my dispatch make the appointment. So now we're in a holding pattern waiting to see what happens because they told me they'd give me an appointment time, but apparently it wasn't a good one. So just waiting to hear back from our office.
I didn't update earlier. Kind of forgot. I'd stopped in Saxton and got a shower. Taking a quick load straps. Doing a little post trip. And I forgot all about it. I was in a hurry to get out of there. Get up here. I'm only about 20 minutes or so from where I deliver tomorrow. So, good easy to run to finish this load out. I'll show you the loads real quick since I didn't do that. It's kind of the same load. I mean, it's still bars. They're 30 foot long, but they're square, not round. So, you've seen in the, the video where I strapped it down. I put two straps around it where I crossed them all the way under. Uh, you can't see it. Uh, choke is what we call it. Uh, right here. That's wrapped it all the way around. See where I done that? It goes under. Cut or not. Now you can see it. But it just pulls it all together, tightens everything up. Done that two of them. Kind of like belly strapping them. Kind of like belly strapping them, but just without belly strapping because it's all one layer. So, I'm going to call it a night here. Uh, I think I can go in there at 7 in the morning. And then, probably just going out on a limb, I will end up going from here over to Pittsburgh, Indiana. I think that's kind of kind of what we do. We load out of there if you're close to here. Uh, it's one of the things you learn with the company you work for. You you kind of learn their normal freight lanes and their normal pickups, and you kind of got a good idea of when. I didn't know what he was fixing to do. I thought he was crashing. Of when. Uh, sorry, I just realized how crooked I am in this parking spot. My OECD can't handle that. Watch we'll fix that. But. Oh, you'll learn, figure out where you pick up and then you get a good idea. Like this morning, I had a good idea. I was going to go to Memphis. So normal stuff, normal stuff. But we stopped in Saxton, got us a shower, and then eased on up the road here. So I'll check back with you tomorrow. Y'all be safe out there. Throwing the big word out. Last mile was the hardest.